Welcome to this video about the general musical skills at Rama. Uh, there's been some confusion about uh, what this test is all about because it has so many elements in it. So our aim today is to clarify the structure and the content of this entrance test. The test is progressive in nature, which means it goes from easy to hard, and it does so in a short amount of time. Please enjoy all the following examples. Melodic imitation. We will play a melody on the piano. You will imitate by singing. We start out with one bar melodies and will continue up to two bar of melodic material. This is how it goes. One, two, three, four. And then it continues and becomes more and more difficult. Now you will hear all of the progression and you can sing along alone at home. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Rhythm imitation. We will clap one bar, later on two bars, and you will repeat right after we do the clapping. I'll be the applicant, and Rasmus will start by showing me something. Yeah, here we go. One, two, three, four. And that's how it goes. If you make a mistake, you just try it again. But now you'll hear the whole progression and you can clap at home yourself. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Number one. Final example, it's in 6 8. One, two, three, four, five, six. In this section, Amelia, who plays the role of the applicant, is going to learn three things. First of all, she's going to learn how to sing the melody. Then she's going to do some guide tone lines. And finally, she's going to improvise over the song. Here we go. Okay. The melody. One, two, three, four. Play this funky music. Play this funky music. Music. Yeah. Moving on. Play it all along. Play it all along. From the top. Three, four. Play this funky music. Guide 
guide tone lines. One, two, three, four. Accompaniment and improvisation. In this section, Anas is going to learn three things. First, he'll, he'll learn to play the melody on his instrument. Then he'll learn the bass line. And finally, he will improvise over the chord changes. Here we go. The melody starts on this note. Yeah. I'll play it here. One, two, three, four. Moving on to the bass line. I'll just play it with the chords and then I'll play the bass line on its own. One, two, three, four. Okay, and finally you're gonna improvise over the chord changes. One, two, three, four. Accompaniment and improvisation. In this section, Christian needs to learn three things. First, the melody, then he'll do some comping that fits the chord changes, and then he needs to improvise over the chord changes. Here we go. Melody starts here. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Now we'll move uh, through the chords. Number one. It's fine. Okay, so now do some comping. One, two, three, four. Moving on to the improvisation. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Okay, in this section, accompaniment and improvisation, Andreas will play the piano and he'll have to learn the melody and then he'll have to learn the groove on the, on the piano 
And finally, he'll have to improvise. So, first of all, Andreas. The melody goes like this. I'll play it and you'll repeat it. One, two, three, four. Moving on to the chords, I'll just play the first two bars. One, two, three, four. Can you find those chords? Yeah. And then the second. Third chord. Yeah, cool. And finally. There you go. And then there is a bass line that goes like this. I'll just play that uh, on its own. Three, four. One small uh, thing that that's the uh, yeah. cool. And can you put that together? Just with the yeah, I'll, I'll play it. Then you you go ahead and, and uh, do the same. Three, four. solo on that three four and Accompaniment and improvisation. In this section, Oscar is going to learn three things. First, the melody, and then he'll have to construct a groove based on what I play. And finally, he'll have to improvise over a form. So, first of all, Oscar, here's the, the melody. It goes like this. I'll sing and you'll uh, reply. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Play this funky music. Play this funky music. Yeah, cool. Now you have to construct a groove based on uh, especially the bass line. So I'll just play the, the four bar phrase. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Okay, and there's also a B section that I haven't played 
and it's basically the same groove, different energy, different chords. We'll get back to that in just a moment. Because now you have to play a drum solo. And uh, you'll play drum solo on the A section, and you'll support the bass line in the odd bars. And then when you think that's long enough, you cue to the B section. And then we'll just end it. Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> Prima Vista, sight reading. In this section you have to do two things. You have to sight read and play a melody on the piano or an instrument of your own choice. You are also allowed to sing the melody. Then the second thing you have to do is to play the chords on the piano and you choose how to do the accompaniment. And now to the melody part of the sight reading test. I have the little piece of music here. I will be the applicant, play the melody, Rasmus will play the chords, and the applicant decides the tempo. One, two, three, four. Now to the ear training part of the entrance test. There are four elements, intervals, triads, tetrachords, and scales. Now I'll play the intervals. Some will be ascending, some will be descending, some will be played simultaneously. You will just have to name the interval. So interval number one. Interval number two. Interval number three. Interval number four. Interval number five. Interval number six. Interval number seven. And interval number eight. The next exercise is triads. Triad number one.
Try it number two. Try it number three. Try it number four. Try it number five. Try it number six. Try it number seven. Finally, try it number eight. The next element is tetrachords, meaning chords with four tones in them. Here is chord number one. Chord number two. Chord number three. Chord number four. Chord number five. Chord number six. Chord number seven. And chord number eight. The final exercise is hearing scales. I play the scales once ascending and once descending, and after that, you name what kind of scale it is. Scale number one. Scale number two. Scale number three. Scale number four. Scale number five and scale number six. Scale number seven. And scale number eight. Rhythm reading. In this section, you have to sight read a notated rhythm, so I'll do my best to do it here. One, two, three, four.
Mm-hmm.